All right. Okay, we're going to do a little walkthrough on our new mini hitch wagon that we just delivered. It's been out for its first drive, so it's a little dirty, and I just wanted to go through some of the features of this wagon and an explanation of how it works. We have an adjustable length pole in the wagon, so you can adjust for different size horses. We have a fixed solid attached neck yoke for safety's sake. You're not going to drop your pole. Our double trees rotate on a bearing. We have them so that they can be detached for transport. The pole is a floating pole held up with a spring that's adjustable for height. This whole pole apparatus can be on the spring can be unhooked, the pins can be removed for transport. It's quick detach. I have a solid 10 inch plate fist wheel in this wagon with a Teflon slider disc. We've got a new suspension in this wagon that is based on the suspension similar to what's in a 70s Corvette. It's a transverse leaf, independent, fully independent suspension. It's got bearings and all the pivot points. It has rubber bushings and where the, where the trailing arms attach to the springs. It rides like a Cadillac. Uh, it's quiet and works very well. This wagon has a friction brake on it. It has bearings or bushings on every connection point. The brake works pretty slick, makes a nice park brake when you're trying to show your team off, fanning your team, you can keep your wheels from moving, it works well as a park brake. We built storage in underneath the seat, which is kind of handy. Uh, this is a combination, this little wagon, it's a hitch wagon and it's also a wagonette. So I'm going to go through quickly how to make it into a wagonette. Attach the lid and store it away. Seats lift straight up. No. And we have our little keeper straps to keep the seats from fold it to the inside. Like so. We have an end gate that you open up when you're using it as a wagonette and it has a step on it that you can use to get in and out. We also have quick detached sleigh runners for this wagon. which all we have to do is we just lift the wagon, slip the sleigh runner on. So I just lift the wagon. Slip the sleigh runner into place and we do up a strap that goes on front and back over the spokes to hold it in place. Each runner goes on and off in about a minute flat. It's easier with two people. And that, in essence, is our wagon. And any questions, everybody should just give us a call, and I'll be glad to answer.